Oh my god, I can't believe I'm almost done with these freaking videos. These are taking forever. But it's for you people. You need to know what happened on June 21st, 2014, in Cambridge, Massachusetts, at Pandemonium Books and Games, at, 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 the Boston Northeast Netrunner Regional Tournament of 2014. This is Elimination Game number 29. These are the two remaining players who have one loss each on the day of the top three remaining players. The winner of this game earns the right to face undefeated in the elimination bracket, at least. Everyone here has lost more than one game, They but in the elimination bracket, these players have lost one game each. The winner earns the right to play against undefeated in the elimination bracket, Chris H. in finals game 30. Here we go. NBN, the win is yours. Played by New Yorker, Alad. Facing on the left, Sam L. with Andromeda. In the top three, there are two New Yorkers, Chris H. and Alad. Go, New York, go. Sorry, Sam L. is a great player, but his only flaw is that he's not from New York. So I will not root for him. Ice, ice, sweep, sweep on the corpse side. Dirty laundry, data sucker, double daily casts on the runner side. Big money. Even more HQ ice. He's watching out for that account siphon against the Andromeda. Good call. Good call. He's holding a beal. Holding some other stuff. R&D run, rainbow. That ends it. Man, that's expensive to break. Double rainbow all the way. Oh, my God. All the way across the servers in the centrals. What does it mean? Double rainbow. Whoa. Daily cast security testing. All three daily casts so early in the game. Have you ever seen something like this? I haven't. No, oh, maybe I have. Icing up the archives. Probably trying to block the security testing. It's not like that matters. Dude's got three daily casts. He's going to be so rich in like one turn. Okay. The corp is letting the runner rest a bit, not the high pressure. So he goes and gets his Proco. I guess if you're going to pay to break those rainbows, well, you know, depending on what icebreaker you get, uh, you may have to pay money to break those rainbows. You're going to need a lot. So you're going to need maybe a lot to install your icebreaker. Okay, corp. Doesn't have a lot of money there, because uh, he spent it all resin these rainbows. But he busts out of breaking news with a shipment. He's just sort of setting up, right? He's an astrobiotics deck. He just now he just needs the six, right? That's the seventh point. He just scored the seventh point first. Just scored the seven point first, then scored the six first six points after. No problem. Game doesn't care what order you do it in. Oh, the Yog comes out. Yog Data Sucker eats Rainbow for breakfast. There's the free R&D runs coming in. Oh, and that Quandary is toast. Sorry, Quandary. He's going to security test those archives. Let me tell you, the security is not strong in the trash bins. They don't even lock that shit. Yep, here come the R&D runs. Not seeing anything. Comes the security test. The daily cast he forgot to empty. People getting a little hurried because it's late. Approaching 1 a.m. here. Okay. 
Some card draws with a pro con. It's a little security testing. Okay, biotic labor. But not enough to score with an Astro Shift. A wraparound. Wraparound is super strong right now. Because even though the runner is loaded on money, there is no uh, Fractor in sight. Super strong wraparound. That's going to shut down those free R&D runs for at least a little while. Make him special order. Kill a turn off for two credits and a card. Very good. Very good. And you know what? Maybe he won't be able to find uh, the Fractor. Maybe you know it doesn't have a special order. That wraparound could be super good. Crypsis, yeah! Woo, super happy to see a Crypsis when you just played a wraparound. Runner's got mad money, but he needs to keep getting more. So far he's installed three cards that cost five each. Woo! Expensive, 15 credits. But he's still got more than 10 there. That data sucker plus Yag is going to chew up for all, a lot of ice. Okay, he's got a hedge fund. He knows he drew the biotic. It's biotic city now. It's biotic city now. This can happen at any time. Oh, there's a fast track. Is he going to get the Astro Script score in the next turn? Those HQI should keep it safe. As long as, you know... All right, useless quandary. There it is. Fast track. Astro script. Boom. Will the runner go to HQ and grab it? We saw Beal in there as well. Running HQ, if you can do it, is not the worst, but maybe it's a trap. It could be like a roto turret there. Oh, you know, you got a Crypsis. You ain't afraid of nothing. I say go for it. you were got so much money. Take a Crypsis counter, run HQ. You can only do it once, but... Hey, what's wrong with that? Or, what if you pull off an account siphon here? Crypsis counter account siphon. He won't be able to astro that bot. At, uh, he won't be able to biotic that astro. If he's minus five credits at least. Crypsis counter. There it is, account siphon. Whoa. Is there a wraparound there? Ooh, if he gets hit by the account siphon, he can't score the astro right away, with the biotic at least. And if he lets him in to access, he could potentially access the uh, Astro there if he dumps all his money on something. No res. Rainbow. Data Sucker plus Yog beats Rainbow. No res. Count Siphon. That delays Astrobiotic by at least one turn. Two tags incoming. He's got a lot of money. Is he going to remove the tags? I would. Keep your security testing and your Procon. You gotta remove those tags. Okay, dumps those ice. Those must have been worthless code gates or something. Uh, install a new one. Looks like a wraparound to me. <laughs> Ooh, and he hasn't found the uh, any sort of co uh, factor yet. Yep, there it is, wraparound. And no resin R&D. Okay, I guess he was willing to save the two credits to uh, not res that wraparound. You figure, let him see one card. You're holding a ton of agendas. What are the odds of him seeing an Astro there pretty low? Plus, if he sees two wraparounds, you know, he's going to go find his uh, Fractor right away. If he sees just the one wraparound, he, he'll still target R&D. Maybe he'll spend his clicks running there instead of going to get uh, a Fractor. If you res the second wraparound, he's not doing anything but. Oh, no, here comes the second wraparound. Just as he... Oh, he still has the seven credits, though. He's still in Astro range. Maybe he's doing some credit math when he decided not to res that other wraparound. But there's a medium in an Andromeda deck. This is craziness. It's not going to get to use it here. You can't pay eight credits in a Crypsis counter to break a wraparound every time. That is not going to happen no matter how much you have. That gets him like two runs. <laughs>
Pro con share gamble. Okay. But I had a Castro, I bet. For all the money. He fast tracked that a while ago. Surprised it stayed there so long. Shipment. Shipment. Three, two, nothing. And an Astro token. Well, the first two points have been scored, and so has the seventh point. Uh, as a Beal in hand, that could be points uh, three and four very easily. More likely, if he gets another Astro, the Astro will be points three and four. The turn after that, Beal, five and six, game over. Fem. Oh, man, he just could not find the Fractor, but he could not wait. Fem's the wraparound. Hits R&D for a credit and a data sucker, which he gets back. One credit breaks the wraparound. Um, well, one credit bypasses the wraparound from Fem, and one data sucker token bypasses the rainbow with Yogg. Gets them both back for a successful run, and that medium is starting to go to work. He is seeing cards. <laughs> but by going with the Femme, uh, not finding a special order, not finding a Corroder, ooh, the uh, HQ's a safe haven for every agenda, just waiting to get scored. Corp's just a little bit behind on money. Fast track. Another Astro. Well, there you go. He's got the game in his hand. He's holding the Astro. He's holding the Beal. He just needs four credits and two turns. Score the Astro. Boom. Goes to five. Next turn. As long as he's got two credits, score the Beal. This could be over very quickly if he can't solve the HQ wraparound or does not find the winner seven points. He's seven points behind. He's got to get seven. Oh, man. In probably three turns, the Corp's going to win it. Here goes the medium. Medium going to town. Uh, found a Beal. Needs five more. Super medium going on here. Seeing deep cards. Eve, he's got so much money, he'll just trash that sand sand just so he can see even deeper. He cannot wait around. He's got to get points. Can the medium find seven points before the game is over? Even trashing the Jackson. It's a race. Thinking about whether to trash that or not. It must be a sand sand or something. Expensive. And another run with the medium. It's going deep. NAPD paying for that. 4-3. He actually pulled ahead there. Take that, R&D interface. Take that, R&D interface. Okay, Corp. Are you going to score that Astro? No, he's not scoring the Astro. He's installing an ice. If you're not going to score the Astro here, you got to clear virus counters, right? If you clear virus counters, suddenly the Corp, the runner has to, you know, he's either got to go to HQ or he's got to waste his turn rebuilding the medium, giving you a window to uh, score the Astro the turn after that. Or just score the Astro and hope he doesn't get the... the, the uh, Three points from R&D. Uh, unless that ice can really stop him. That's a pop-up window. I guess that gets you the money that you need to be able to win. Right? Uh, and you're just hoping he doesn't get the win out of R&D. Right? That pop-up window. Yeah. Okay, I can see what he was thinking there, but I figure you clear. You got to clear the virus counters there. Um, score the Astro or clear the virus counters. Here comes the six. How deep is he going to dig the rest of this turn? If he just doesn't win this turn or the turn after that, uh, the pop-up window could, you know, because he didn't have enough money, it's true, to uh, to score both agendas. The pop-up window could give it to him. I could, I could see where he's going with it. Wild and free. The kitty in the grass. Look how deep that medium is digging. Game over. Third Astro. Eight points. Oof. Close one. Close one. Sorry, lad.
You should have cleared virus counters. You knew that. We, we mentioned it right as soon as the game ended. And you knew it as well. But Sam L moves number two seed to fight number one seed Chris H in the match 30. Coming up after this. <laughs> 